Still standing out here in the rain. Go inside or you'll catch your death of cold. I don't understand why I have to hold the button to walk. I don't. I completely do Hey, wait. Not. Can you listen to your thoughts? Try listening to your thoughts right now. I'm going to act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Oh. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Oh. Hey, I'm all doped up. What about the Marble Street apartment? <sighs> You're the worst reporter ever. Hi. I was told that you could get bitropin. The fuck is that? You made that up. That's not a real drug. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Nope. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. Do you like my shirt? <laughs> I am dreaming of Hawaii. Also, like, how weird is it for her to just be like, I, like, I'll like, pay in exchange for the illegal drugs. And he's like, oh, I thought you were here for the free illegal drugs. That that offer ended last week. <laughs> so, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. It's a, it's a liquid. Well, no, um. be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was Ooh. just about to have one. Would you like a drink? Sure, why not? Of yeah. course, give me your booze. Do you think that she knows how to take a shot without, like, chewing <laughs> on it? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> think he's gonna roofie her? I don't know about that. What, what, what's your impression of this guy? Does he seem trustworthy? <laughs> it is a weird, empty house. It is, there is something weird about it, right? I haven't seen you around here. Before. It's not like totally unfurnished or anything, but it feels really empty. Oh my god. Look at all these options. Uh, the important thing is that we're here, right? Oh, she's trying so hard to be human. It's, it's endearing somehow. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Mm, with heroin. <laughs> Do you like the strong stuff? <laughs> I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. Yep, it's all you. Yep. You are saving society. This guy is the hero that we deserve. I heard you had some apartments for rent. So subtle. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Like, who goes to their drug dealer and says, like, hey, do you also have real estate opportunities? And then, like, I, really pointedly... And then she's like, I, uh, know too much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, that, I'm very suspicious. Is that, is that cool? I, I, I know things I shouldn't. You're not drinking? Yes. Yeah, sure I am. Glug. Yep, Rufy. some trouble. <laughs> like real <laughs> fast acting Are Rufy though. Accepting gifts from strangers. Mm -hmm. oh. Shit. <laughs> Rapist. <laughs> this guy violated the pact of salty bread or whatever. It's not cool, man. Well, that Oh Jesus. Floodlights are a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag episode title. Who's that guy? Well, he found out the hard way what happens when you see floodlights. Say hello to Matthew. Hi, he Matthew. He had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Oh God. Well, this is awesome. So you're interested in my Marble Street apartment? Left. I read it to my friend Paco. If you must know. No did he say it right? How did he say it just then? Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. What? <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn, just as long as he pays his rent. Why is this an option? I can't do anything. This is useless. You can scream again. It doesn't do anything, but you can scream. I miss There's something really disconcerting, not even about the fact that she's, like, screaming for her life, which obviously, like, is inherently troubling. Right. But there's something weird about the fact that, like, I hope you will. She's screaming that. as if he's not there. Right. Yeah, you know, like there's a different way you would scream if your captor is there and if you're just if you're trying to get help, right? Right. Oh shit. There's something weird about the kind of scream she's doing, I feel. 
shit. Oh shit. Wait. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. Am I right? Uh huh. I'll give you an environment visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. So is it possibly for me to wait to just wait here until he comes and kills me? I'm not sure. It might be. I will say that, like, if you... I've seen what happens if you don't take the drink. And, like, it... I forget exactly what he fucks off and goes to do. But, like, you can sort of wander around his apartment, but, like, if you take too long, like, going places you shouldn't, then he catches you and the same thing happens. I come to bring you the word of the Lord. But, like, you can, like, investigate and, like, find certain clues, but, like, I think it's actually way easier this way because he basically tells you the thing you need to know is, like, I read that apartment out to my friend Paco. He's a douchebag. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. Although I think he may have said, uh, Paco is another one of those things that people in this game have difficulty pronouncing. Right. And most of the characters pronounce it Paco. Right. Is it, so I'm, I'm really curious if it's possible to get myself I, I would be really interested to find out actually. Let's just sit here. Did you knock it off the table? That'd be funny. I turned it on by accident. But I'm gonna sit- we're gonna sit here and we're not gonna do anything. Oh shit. I, I- like, I'll explain why later, but I'm really curious about this scene specifically, of all the scenes in the game. I mean, it's possible it might just take over. <laughs> Sorry. <Okay. laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> what a stupid thing that is. Take it like a Polaroid picture. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's so stupid. Yeah. yeah, this is just gonna keep happening, right? That's like. Let's <laughs> let's see if it's the same guy or 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 what, but. I I, I have such a hard time believing that that's just like a loop. And what- I like that it, it literally let, just resets you to where you were yeah. before in the process. So that you can't possibly- like, Yeah. But like, why is it that easy for her to get her leg free? You did a bad job. The Lord has decided yeah, it's, it's the same guy. <laughs> so I should just- Yeah, I think you should probably- Okay, so, here's the thing. Uh, this scene- this is this what we're playing is technically like the the HD remaster or whatever of this game. Right. This scene is DLC that isn't originally integrated into the storyline. Oh, I see. So like dying here would be would like be yeah super time uh, yeah. So like it it would basically be a time paradox to die here. Right. Why is he like happy that that happened? And why would you leave the drill there? Okay, so like, even if you were gonna go grab another thing, and who throws a drill? Right, Honestly. So we've established that I can't die, so I'm just gonna let this roll out. Yeah, no, that's a, that's an interesting idea. Kill her! <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Oh, whoa! What? But what is that... What does that do, though? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wait! For real? I mean, he just stuck but, a saw blade into her spine, so if she's not dead, I don't know. I mean, she looks extra dead, but like... Fuck! What? Are we gonna reset? Yeah, right, the doorbell rings and then you're just fine again! <laughs> oh, look, she's twitching! Wow. That's extra creepy. I mean, obviously the whole thing's creepy, but... I love how he's just laughing. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> like, he's not even laughing about, like, Ah, oh, I defeated her! So he's just literally like, Ha ha ha! Life is so funny! What? I... That's yeah. insane to me! She's dead. Of, of all the scenes that we've gone through that I was like, I'm surprised you couldn't die or get caught or whatever... That was the only scene I was sure you couldn't die in! Well, now we're dead. The hell? Did you kill her off? No! But, like, I also assumed it was impossible. <laughs> like, it wouldn't even occur to me to try because I knew that was DLC that didn't originally belong in the story. Oh my god. 
So, like, what does that even do? I don't know. I think that's, like, the only scene she can't... No, she could hypothetically die in a different scene. That we haven't ha have had yet? Yeah. That we'll never have now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's so weird. Why am I here? Maybe it'll just, like, appear in that scene and it'll be fine. <laughs> Why am I here? What is going on? Uh, so, the last time you dealt with uh, Jaden, FBI guy, um, obviously you let uh, Ethan Mars go, but you also were, like, doing investigation, you found that super stereotypical black guy right. who had some affiliation with a stolen car that was seen near the scene of the crime. Right. So I'm going to find a stereotypical black guy. Yes, and ask him some stereotypical racial profiling questions, probably. Where would I find him, though? How, you, how do you die in that scene? How is that possible? <laughs> I've broken Basco, you guys. Just, like, legitimately, it was one of the only scenes I was, like, convinced that there was, like, no possible way to die in. And it's the only one you managed to die in. Oh my god, can I just, like, jump into these? Can I just kill all the... Oh, there's a... I mean, I'm pretty Shane. sure... It's, I don't think you can kill all of the characters, but you can kill most of them. I think you can die in this scene. I'm gonna kill everyone in Ethan's life except for Ethan. Make him suffer as much as possible. <laughs> so was I supposed to go into this building that they didn't point the camera at at all? I think, yeah, I think Jesus that's the only place you're Christ. supposed to go. Someone call up these fucking designers and tell them to fuck off. You know these guys are making a new game, right? No. Uh, what's it called? Don't care. It's something about robots. Don't give a Hilariously, the new one is about it's robots. Really I think that's so they can get away with is. animating people poorly. Oh my god, he's so, so staring to Yep. Can we talk for a minute? No! Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. Here's, here's a random I just side know note. Who it from. How many people do you know, like, pronounce Chevrolet, Chevrolet in, like, any context? I mean, I don't just say Chevy? Yeah, like, I feel like yeah. even a cop would call it a Chevy. Yeah. Like, just like, no one actually calls it a Chevrolet. We find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, Looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> pretty solid time inside. So like not not the hardcore stuff where you get beaten up or whatever. Yeah. Like it's actually pretty good, you know. You get yeah. your, get your three square meals a day. Yeah, nice comfy beds. Yeah, you, you get you get some recreational time. Yeah, they let you watch Oprah. So that's yeah, cool. like it's not bad. Let's go back to Mars. Gonna do some investigating. Was this DNA? Blood. Now why is there blood here? Hmm. That's a good question. Why is there blood there? What's under here, I wonder? That's a great question. Why don't you find out what's under there? A skull. I'll just leave that where that is. Now... That is not the direction where that guy was. Too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Oh, I see. Now, see, that seems like a weird threat Never only in that it. clearly the thing that happened to him wasn't being soldered to death. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. That guy took a long acid bath until he got real wrinkly, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Right in the nuts. This guy is a real slime ball. Can't decide if I want to die or not. It's up to you, man. You could definitely continue playing the game if this character dies. Yeah, I, I kind of like him. I would say, like, basically, like, successfully completing the game. Like, you can finish the game, but, like, actually saving Sean becomes increasingly difficult the more people die. Alright, we'll, 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 I want to save Sean, so we'll, we'll help him live. Guns. And stuff? I'm not fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. <laughs> fuck yourself. That somehow I seems really unprofessional. Tell me about the guy with the car! <laughs> Broke my fucking nose, pig! Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill. The one thing I, I think I, I dislike about... Jaden is just that like he has a really inconsistent tolerance for like police violence to like get the job done. 
You like gasoline. fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are going to blow up real nice. Shit, man, not. don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't barely be able to talk, will you, Jack? <laughs> See, like, before he would have yelled at Blake for this, and he's, like, way off the deep end right now. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon. Paco, uh, you say? Paco. Paco. I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? Oh, shit. This is gonna sound like a stupid question. Yes. Do and FBI Mr. agents will we... also read Miranda rights? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I can't, like, remember a specific instance where I've seen that happen. I would assume so, because I would... If you're being arrested by, like, U.S. law enforcement, like, right. I would think they still have to read you the rights. But, like... My god, look at all those fucking buttons. It's Are you having a good literally time? literally every button I can press. Yeah, pretty much, right? Turn around. Why would you... Don't get near the perp. That's, that's... Yeah, right? This is not how it works. Very it's really clumsy. Look, I succeeded. So the, the alternative there is I think that you can... I think you can not take the drugs and then you just have, like, a longer fight sequence with him where he... Right. Where you struggle to, like, subdue him again because he gets the upper hand when you're, like, struggling. Right. But I think if you I think if you fuck up enough of those quick time events, like, he just murders you. Yeah, that seems reasonable. He also killed that other cop and admitted it to your face. Yeah, but I mean, that doesn't that doesn't mean... That could be, like, a one-time thing. You know, oh, every now and Blake. then... That would be great. <laughs> but wouldn't that actually be really funny? <laughs> you show up with the guy, he's like, I haven't seen Blake in a while. Have you seen him? Who's this? <laughs> I haven't seen Blake in a while, but I got this skull from a perp I was interrogating. <laughs> Can you run some tests on this? Manfred! Manfred! Everyone please pay, press F to pay respects to Manfred. <laughs> oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. Okay. He's only a suspect, but... You know what I think would work better for this story? What's that? Like, I like that we have different characters yeah, taking different approaches to trying to find the killer and figure uh, out what happened. But, um, about origami. I feel like I the killer could have there should be overlap. Them. Like, more characters should be aware of other people that years. other characters are investigating. Right. And, like, each character has their own, like, I think this character is doing it. Right. But, like, it seems more meaningful, the various investigations, if, like, there's compelling evidence and it's not just, like, this is the only character that I'm looking at as, like, a possible suspect to be the killer. Right. To warm up a little? Is it okay if I take a shower? Hey, yeah. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Oh, I had fun with this. Let's make them them eggs. You're gonna how, how do you how do you like to prepare your eggs, Tech? I like to break all of them. <laughs> you don't like to eat them, you just like to break eggs. You just buy a carton and smash them <laughs> in your fist to feel powerful. Yeah. Plate Plate and skillet thing. Oh my god, can I just serve her raw eggs? Yeah, you can. I can? Oh my god, let's do it. <laughs> That's what I did in mind. Like I, I kind of unintentionally because like I couldn't remember if like How do I do it? Well, you you do have to break the egg, but then you basically just like do a super shitty job of cooking them and just said you're done. Okay. But like, I couldn't remember if the game gave you like a clear indication that like they were cooked, and so like there's a point at which like they change from like the the straight up raw eggs. There, just like leave it. <laughs> How do I leave now? Um, some point at which... Oh, just turn it off again, I think. Done. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was some raw chicken to go with uh, this delicious did, sauce that you've made. Did you see it just flop onto the plate? <laughs> yeah, I did. So, like, you can, you can go for a little while, and it, like, changes appearance a little bit, but, like, 
isn't entirely clear whether the game considers it fully cooked or not. Right. So when I was doing this, I was like kind of half-assing it, but like also kind of thought it was done. And then she was just like, ugh. <laughs> Hope she enjoys. I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line so much. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According she, to this, she manages, of course, to find the most awkward way to say Manfred. Manfred's place. Secure maybe one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of thirty clients one by one. So that's a lot of legwork. Before he said that anyone who has a functioning typewriter in the whole city yeah. has come to him. And 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 he specifies like since 1964 he's had all of the replacement parts for this typewriter. Right. And then he's like going through 30 whole clients. Like 30 is the number of people who've ever needed to repair that typewriter yeah. for it to be functional. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribes to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Oh my god, an origami magazine. Right? I mean, that's just an assumption. Even if someone is like an origami yeah. hobbyist, like they don't necessarily subscribe to a magazine. Right. Like the internet fucking exists. Look at this montage. Got to cross reference these 30 names. Got to need a montage. Montage. We're going to need a montage. Drinking out of a tiny trash can. Don't know if you noticed that. Nope, false alarm. Yes, that is a name. God, she's so creepy looking. I know she. Like of all the uncanny people in this game, she's by far the worst. Yeah. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Well, that's suspicious, isn't it? Dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Hmm. Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. And somehow we'll find that out by digging up the grave of a yeah, child. What is the grave gonna do? I mean, like, it's a reasonable theory, but this is, doesn't seem like the way you would learn. I mean, going to look at the grave is useless. Like, oh, let's go look at this random grave. I really struggled with this. There's an awful lot of graveyard, and it's not particularly well marked, so I was just, like, wandering around for fucking ever. How do, where do I go, then? I don't want to do that. Uh, it is... <sighs> I think it's somewhere in this main area. Can you talk to that guy? Maybe he just tells you. This, this grave digger? I ain't saying he's a grave digger. A grave digger, help me. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Do you like how much your face is melting in the rain? Mm-hmm. What's funny is, like, his video game hair doesn't actually look that bad, but mostly just because it's cut so short. The longer video game hair is, the worse it looks. Russell Howard. Annabelle. Hey, Lauren. John Shepard. Rip in peace. Rip in peace. Ooh, look. An origami. Origami figures. Eager. That's one hell of a coincidence. Yeah, we'll put it back. I don't need this evidence. <laughs> the flowers are fresh. So fresh and so Looks clean, like clean. In the grave. Oh, youngin'. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? Uh. I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. I enjoyed burying him. 77. What? October, I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> 77 means he was alive to get his typewriter fixed after the 64 parts spot. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Everyone pronounces all the words wrong in this game. Hood limbs! How will we know when that happens if we're not He's here? Again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend the day outside. It's raining so oh heavily. The voices well, of these children are so young. The rain never yeah. hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Is one of these people Ethan? 
I don't know. It seems like a relevant story, so we probably know one of them, right? I will catch you. Wait for me. I'm doing a good impression, right? Yeah, That's no, you you could you could easily score like a main character role in the next Quantic Dream game. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the next one is something to do with like robots, some sort of like. Turing test style, like, oh, are they people? Sort of thing, I think. I'm literally, I'm, I'm L1. Hold L1, mash, mash X. X. That's what I was doing. Yeah, I believe it. <clears throat> Let's go. Nah. Just <laughs> leave him. Just wait for the doctor to murder him and then laugh. I can't believe What's Your Face got her spinal cord cut. It doesn't make any sense. It, like, literally doesn't make any sense. That scene isn't originally in the game. That's great. How can you get a game over there? Oh, well, here's a good place to get Yeah, this go. seems super safe, right? This is a great place What's for that shit called? Play. Rebar? Yeah, rebar. <laughs> Why would you want to play in this weird rebar playground? I don't know. Also, what does it mean to fail? <laughs> you're like, <laughs> get slightly <laughs> bruised. You're just like, you're just like, chest bump it. Oh yeah, I remember this this spot in particular being like really weirdly finicky. I think there may be like one or two other times where like the game wants you to like slide as the kid and like it's just it the controls are weird. Oh my god, that was terrible. Also he like freaked out. He's like, Ah I slid like three feet So challenge. I told you to watch Oh my god, it's so good. So There's good. so many stupid great things you could do in this game. You could just make, like, every single person you encounter look socially inept. Dunk! Ugh! Just, the whole concept of this game just feels lazy to me. I mean, it is and it isn't. Like, they're they're trying to do something very specific. They, they don't call this a game. They call this... There's some term that they use, like... Inter... Like... Interactive... Movie or something. Mm. So like they it's it's not meant to be a traditional video game. If they want it to be really cinematic. The thing that I think is the problem is that they Gee, don't focus on making it feel like a movie. They sort of half ass both aspects. If it if it was just like a super successful like intriguing movie, then like I think you would cut them more slack for the other dumb shit of it not being a great video game. Right. Was there ever a point in your life as a as a young boy that you would do shit like this? No. Well, I mean, I climbed on shit and like all that jazz. Yeah. Would like, you Would you go to like a an abandoned like construction site? Yeah, maybe. I certainly wouldn't do that shit. Yeah, like that. That that's all. This is ridiculous. And the funniest part about this to me is that that other kid is just like, God, you're such a pansy. Why won't you do this like? completely life-jeopardizing nonsense with yeah, no upside. Yeah, come on, why won't you be on American Ninja Warrior? Yeah, instead? exactly, yeah. <laughs> Your muscles are not buff enough. Come on, you're the worst. All the other kids are doing this. Are they? Is, how is this fun? Chase me around this dangerous construction site. Yeah, frankly, I think both these kids are stupid. Yeah. The only reason to go to an abandoned construction site is if you happen to know that there is an alien there who's willing to grant you the power to morph into any animal that you touch. You, you, that, you, that is a legitimate reason. You are absolutely but we right. currently have no evidence that that is the case here. No. Geronimo! I also love that, that line read. What a Move shitty friend. ass! I'm waiting! What a shitty friend. Literally, it's like going from one place to another being like, you suck! <laughs> yeah, like, like you, you have no hope of catching up to him. And the whole time he's just like treating you like shit because you're not doing an impossible thing. Now, again, this is a scene where I'm pretty sure it's not actually possible for you to die, but who, what the fuck do I know anymore if you could die in that DLC scene? Right. Oh, this is challenging. But the, the weirdest part of that is it did really seem like that was a loop you couldn't get out of, right? With the, right. Like, the missionary guy coming to the door? Yeah. So, like... Why is why is it not possible to get caught there, but you can straight up get murdered? I don't know. These are all excellent Dad, wait questions. For me. Get a move on. Huh? 
Bruce. He's just a terrible. Is, is he a brother? He's, he's, he he's the friend? brother of this character. These two are brothers of that drunk dad. Move your ass! Okay, I'm doing it. Doing it. Do you, do you like the six axes? Which of the six axes is your favorite? <laughs> No, I was totally doing it fine. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I mean, his reactions definitely don't mirror your controller. He's like flooping his arms like practically 90 degrees and you're like really carefully adjusting it. Ready. Steady. And go. Okay. <laughs> It'd be awesome if you just like don't catch that one quick time action and you just like die. <laughs> The jump of death. Triangle L two L one. So there is actually Triangle. there is actually a clue to the the playable character's identity. Oh, God. have you picked up on it? Um. <laughs> I have never checked that. That is so stupid. Triangle, L2, L1, circle, and yeah. do it! Oh my god. So, would we know one of these people? We do know one of these people. I mean, I think one of them is Ethan. That one. Which one? Oh no, it's the left one. Yeah. Because we know that the other one he's been calling John, so we know that that's mm. the, the kid who died whose grave that we're, like, currently at IRL. By IRL, I mean in the present with Scott Shelby and the most uncanny woman in the world. You don't want to individually count all these numbers for no good reason? I'm shocked to learn this. Twenty! What's wrong with his head? Move your ass! I'm waiting! He's not doing a very good job hiding, is he? Where is he? I'm just following his voice. To Fruit Loops. Oh. Is this not, like, the single dumbest thing? I'll save you, like, boy who inevitably look, dies. I know, like... I, I was a particularly responsible kid. I did nothing adventurous. Yeah. I, like, followed all the rules. And I understand that people are, are more adventurous and will sometimes do things that appear stupid to me. But, like, this? Yeah. Like, you're playing, like, hide-and-seek in the, in the construction yard. Sure. Whatever. That's fine. But this is the place you choose to hide? You're a jackass! Ridiculous. How could the water rise any more than what it's already doing? He wasn't. But the poor kid never did find any help. Ever. He's still, He's still looking. looking, yeah. Some say that if you listen on a, on a quiet night, you can the still hear him lived. looking. What happened to him? <clears throat> the boy who lived? He went to Hogwarts. What a stupid question. I think he got adopted. Speaking of, hello, Professor. Hello. Welcome home. Looks like a storm's coming. <laughs> Looks like it's a storm. Actively pouring. It, it has been raining for like six consecutive days in game. It is the whole point of the game. Christ, what a horrible story. <laughs> yep. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. We don't know that. The brother might have drowned when he was looking for help and not holding his hand. Yeah. He could be the origami killer. Come on. Could be. Let's get back in the car. It seems very likely, considering that the circumstances match the killer's M.O. Also, you have circumstantial evidence tying John Shepard to the origami killer in the present. How to getting there. Slowly walking. Is this a jump scare game? No, no it's even not. a little bit. Oh, that's too What's bad. the matter? <laughs> that man over there. Yeah? Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Who's Gordy? 
Uh, Gordy is the guy who literally said origami killer at that weird party, and Charles Kramer is his dad who taught us to golf. Right. Hmm. Suspicious. Bum, bum, bum. All right, everybody. Join us next time, and we'll continue to figure shit out. Yes, more intrigue. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, none of them... Maximum pain! Luckily, none of them is inclined to shoot. Taxi! By the way, I, I think Maximum Pain is the uh, the upcoming part of your game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seriously? Fucking, fucking cab drivers, am I right? Yeah. I steal your cap now, motherfucker! GTA Heavy Rain! Hey, what's the matter with you? Go! Oh.